What's up, Earl? That young man in the baseball cap is barely old enough to drink in Texas. How's the uh, five and six going? But every workday, Joe Poole checks into a control room that looks like something built by NASA. Any problems with the cap pumps? This seemingly spotless workplace is a nerve center for a 21st century petrochemical plant. Just seeing firsthand how things are made is something that I enjoy doing and seeing it from gas to plastic is, is a really interesting experience. His hot and noisy job keeps him on his feet at the Chevron Phillips Chemical Plant in Baytown, Texas, just east of Houston. Here they make stuff like the plastics we find in everything from milk jugs to bicycle helmets. You might think a plant like this would be crowded with workers, but it's mostly automated. You know where your assembly sites are? Joe Poole monitors the refining process, a job that requires only two years of college. It's also one of those middle-skilled jobs the petrochemical industry now has a tough time filling. This country is facing a shortage of that kind of talent. So the, the demand is there big time. Uh, what we need to work on is the supply. We're going to need to do a gas test around the motor. Poole's a third generation refinery worker who just started this job a few months ago, but even he's noticing how many of his co-workers are approaching retirement age. There's a gap now. There's the people that have been here 40 years and then there's the people like me that have been here just un over a year. And so we're, that's why we're trying to get more people to fill in these jobs so we can kind of bridge the gap. He's only 21 years old, but he's already on track to make more than $100,000 in his first year out of college. And the petrochemical industry is anxiously looking for more workers like him. In Houston, Doug Miller for USA Today.